Hey 49ers fans, our team is ignited with thrilling updates that have paved the way for collective excitement. Some fans express reservations, finding it challenging to absorb the unfolding narrative. Hit subscribe to cast your vote of support for the 49ers and join us in unraveling the nuanced layers of this groundbreaking news. A segment of the San Francisco 49ers fan base still blames running back Roger Craig for the team's failure to reach a third consecutive Super Bowl. Craig once called it the worst moment of his professional career. I've had many highs and lows, but this is the lowest ever, Craig said at the time. I never imagined I would make a fumble in such a crucial moment. This feels like a nightmare for a running back. Craig was referring to his fumble in the closing minutes of the NFC Championship game against the New York Giants, which abruptly ended San Francisco's 1990 season and dashed all hopes of the NFL's first ever three-peat. Christian McCaffrey, often compared to a modern-day Craig, is a versatile running back who excels both through the air and on the ground. He is the reigning NFL Offensive Player of the Year and recently participated in a Super Bowl where he accumulated 160 all-purpose yards and scored a touchdown. However, what haunted him was a fumble that ended the 49ers' first offensive drive in that game. In an offseason filled with what-ifs, many wonder how the game might have unfolded had McCaffrey held onto the football. San Francisco went on to lose Super Bowl LV8 in overtime. Speaking to reporters last week, running backs coach Bobby Turner was asked if he had to address the unfortunate play with McCaffrey. I spoke to him about it right when it happened, as he came off the field, because you have to be able to move on, Turner responded. Yet it's something you take personally because it's very important to him. The ball is everything. He's carrying this entire organization, his family, my family. He's carrying that football. It's heavy. I always talk about its weight, its length, and the nickname on it, Duke. You're carrying the Duke around. He takes a lot of pride in that. Every time he touches the ball, he tries to protect it. And unfortunately, that happened. McCaffrey has not been present for the start of organized team activities, OTAs, leading to speculation about the reason. When asked if it might be financially motivated, with McCaffrey potentially seeking a pay raise, head coach Kyle Shanahan stated, I'm not sure if that is the case with any of those guys who aren't here, but it is all voluntary, so we'll see when it becomes mandatory. Turner offered a more cryptic response when asked by NBC Sports Bay Area about McCaffrey's whereabouts, saying, physically, he's not here, but he's here in every other aspect. That's the business part, and I'm not getting into that. There may be another reason for his absence. Everything is purely speculative at this point. Wherever McCaffrey is, there is no doubt he is taking his physical preparation for the upcoming season very seriously, determined to make amends for the costly mistake in the biggest game of his career. Turner added, Christian wants to improve every day, his standards are very high, and every day we're looking for him to get better.